guys welcome to my channel today i am creating this very very beautiful egyptian goddess makeup tutorial and i feel like the great thing with a look like this is that you feel kind of glamorous just wearing it and i feel absolutely glamorous with this look it's stunning i wish i had a halloween event that i could go to with this look right now but i don't because we are currently in lockdown so i've got nowhere to go but i'm hoping i may be able to help some of you who may be looking for an egyptian goddess tutorial or perhaps you've kind of run out of ideas and it's last minute and you're not sure what to do this is actually quite easy i'm also going to tell you the jewelry pieces that i'm wearing at the moment these are relatively new to me and so i'll discuss all of these towards the end let's get started so i'm going to start off with my eyes first and i'm just popping on some eye primer this is nars next up now i can't find my elf eyeshadow tapes and so I'm just gonna use my dressing tape that I normally use for clothes and the way I'm gonna position this is I'm gonna position this under my lash line so I don't want to have it right here the eyeliner look I want to create is really from the bottom up and so I'm just gonna posi position this at the bottom and just like that till the edge of my eyebrow next i'm gonna take the new nars holiday palette previous palette the climax one was phenomenal i love that palette so much that i just couldn't resist and got this as well with this palette i'm gonna go into this shade right here and i'm just taking the spectrum brush number 12 and then all i'm doing is really just applying this shade all over the eye And I'm going into the crease as well. And I'm also going to take it underneath just a little bit, not too much, because we're going to cover that all up with black eyeshadow. Then I'm going to go with Spectrum Brush number 11. This is a very beautiful satin eyeshadow, you can kind of see that. I'm going to go into this little taupey shade just to cool down that crease area a little bit and apply that right on the edge. Next I'm going to go into this very beautiful gold shade right here. It's slightly flaky but it does smooth out really beautifully on top of the lid. And all I'm going to do is focus this all over the eye. Wow, that's, whew, that's beautiful. I really wanted a sparkly gold shadow for this look and gosh, this is perfect. And I'm gonna take it up just a little bit into the crease as well. And then I'm gonna take Spectrum brush number 19 and I'm just going to spread out the sparkle a little bit. Next, grab a black eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use the black eyeshadow from the Charlotte Tilbury palette. And I'm using the brush M Morphe M165, which is like a, an angled, a slightly thick angled brush. Just trace along here. That's it. And then, and then create an angle. I'm just going to change my brush because I used alcohol on it and it hasn't dried and it's not applying properly. So I'm just going to go with another brush and just going to repeat the same step. And I'm slowly going to increase that angle until I can reach the top of my lash line here and then start stippling this color right on top. And I'm going to go all the way to the inner corner as well. We are going to connect it completely. Because often in Egyptian style makeup, you would see that the, the goddesses, for example, will often have eyeliner that goes all the way around. Now I'm going to bring the black all the way in as well. And I'm smudging it at the bottom too because I don't just want a black line. I want a nice, thick, smudgy black line. So now that I've got this black eyeshadow kind of all around my eye, 
Now what I'm going to do is deepen the base of my lashes a little bit more and make this black a little bit darker. I'm just going to go with Natasha Denona Eye Crayon, which is probably the deepest black I've seen so far. Just sharpened the Natasha Denona liner. First, I'm going to apply this to my waterline and go all the way around. Make that nice and dark. And of course the lash line as well. We want to make that very, very dark. I'm also going to go in my upper waterline and just making sure that it's also nice and dark. Next, I am going to smudge this really at the base of my lash line. And I'm also going to smudge this right along here. I'm also going to take this pencil and just apply a little bit more darkness just around that wing. I've just added some mascara and now I'm going to just peel these off. Oh, that is very satisfying. Now I'm just going to take some makeup remover and just wipe all this fallout underneath. So that's removed. I'm going to moisturize my face and then we will start with the face makeup. So I've color corrected using Live Tinted in the shade Rise and now I'm just going to apply my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter and I'm gonna use shade 5 and apply that really at the high points and then I'm just going to blend this out. Next I'm gonna go with my Dior Skin Glow Foundation. Of course it's just too beautiful to not use. I'm the shade 3 Warm Olive and I'm going to go ahead and just apply that all over the skin. And I'm just going to smooth this out. So I've got my foundation on and now I'm just going to take Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. And this is the shade Natural Beige. I really love this shade for highlighting. I've got the concealer under my eyes and now I'm going to apply just a little bit of this shade. I'll take it just on my little ring finger and I just want to highlight my forehead and I'm just patting it in. Okay, and I don't want to apply too much but I want a little bit of that brightness right here. I'll take a little bit here and a little bit here. I'm also going to apply a little bit right here. So next I'm going to set my under eye concealer just with Huda Easy Bake. I'm just going to make sure some comes out of it. Brush number seven from the Katie Hughes. I'm going to pick up a little bit just on this brush. And then I'm going to go ahead and pat that in. First I'll pat in to make sure there's no creases. And then I'll go and add this in. I'm also going to use Spectrum brush number 09. And I'm going to use this brush just to give me a little bit of a clean edge right here. So I'm going to look straight in the mirror. And then just going to go ahead and wipe it up. And that has just sort of cleaned up that area underneath. And it's also made sure that it's kind of the angle is matching this one because this angle was a little bit lower than this. And I have just now moved it up. Now I'm going to do a little bit of contouring. I'm going to use um, Patrick Tarr's Contour Duo. It, this is in the shade She Sculpted. In a snapshot, if you haven't seen my review of this product, I do really enjoy the contour. Don't particularly enjoy the bronzer. So I'm going to take brush number 04 and just pick that up on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply that here. You can kind of see the soft shadow this is giving me and then just going to blend it. 
I'm also going to apply this contour right on the top of my forehead as well. Take the same contour shade and this is the Wayne Goss brush number seven. I'm gonna go ahead pick up a little bit of this cream. Just not too much, just a little bit. I'm going to start off first right in the middle and just kind of draw a straight line. Just like that, just so I have a little bit of a marker almost. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just blend up. Just like that. And then straight down. And then all I'm gonna do is just blend this. And then it's just about taking a clean brush. I'm just taking Wayne Goss and I'm just going to just sort of tap it. And that's gonna blend it out. For bronzer, I am absolutely going to use my Kosas one. This is going to give me that beautiful coppery sheen. I'm gonna use Wayne Goss brush number 01. In swirling motions, just going to apply this all over the cheek. I'm gonna start slow and then build up. And there's no sparkle on my cheek, it's just a beautiful glow. I'm going to apply this to my forehead as well. I'm gonna focus a lot, a lot of it right here because that's where it's gonna give me that sheen. For highlighter, I'm gonna pick up a MAC highlighter in the shade Oh Darling. And just gonna pick this up on Wayne Goss brush. Ooh, I think I picked up a lot there. Wayne Goss brush number two. And all I'm gonna do is pop this highlighter right here it is very very reflective oh my god it is so beautiful Whew. i'm also going to take this highlighter and apply that under the eye right here as well Ooh. oh wow that's definitely a bronzed goddess look right here Ooh, a little bit too much that's okay I'm gonna pat this out with my finger I'm also going to apply that on the nose So I've just done my eyebrows off camera. All I've done is use Benefit Brow Pencil and of course my Holy Grail MAC Fiber Boost Brow Gel, which gives me really nice, dark, thick lashes. I love it. Next up for blush, I'm gonna go into my Shiseido Whipped Powder Blush. So this is in the shade Sayoko. Now I'm gonna apply a very small amount of blush. So I'm gonna keep my blush very light just for now. I can go back and add more if needed. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my T-zone with some powder. And I'm gonna pick up Wayne Goss brush number 13 and just going to apply this powder right here. I'm also going to apply this powder. I'm gonna change my brush, something that's a little bit more narrow. And I'm going to just hit underneath that contour there. You can kind of see the difference that makes. Like I don't want it to be too stark, so I'm not gonna apply a lot of powder, but just a little bit. For lipstick, I'm gonna go with Lisa Eldridge lipstick. This is the True Velvet in Velvet Jazz. Yes. It's exactly the color that I want. Beautiful. Now, I don't have a lip liner in this color, so I'm just gonna use a lip brush. I'm gonna pick some up on, just from the tube, and just going to line my lips. I'm just gonna overline a little bit. So 
So I've got my lip color on and I just want to clean sort of this bottom part right here. So I'm going to go back and take that brush from Katie Hughes 09. It's like a really wide sort of, you can kind of see it's a very narrow, slightly dense, wide brush. It's beautiful. So I wiped it off, uh, making sure there's no remains of my liner. And I'm going to go and use the same concealer from Too Faced as before. I'm going to put this at the back of my hand, work the brush into that concealer just a little bit. I don't want too much product. Go ahead and of course line right here. Now looking at the makeup as a whole, I feel like adding a little bit more blush. So I'm going to go back into the Shiseido. And I'm going to, of course, blend it right into that highlighter. I have now applied some fake eyelashes. Now the lashes I'm using, I actually really love. This is from the brand called Base Blue Cosmetics. Now these are Flying Lashes Skylark. They come in this little packaging that you can just pop open and then put them back in. And what I love about these is that they're not too long. When you have small eyes like I do, if you have really long lashes, they can really kind of cover up that entire eye look that you did. And so what I love about these is that they're quite small, but dense. So they give you a lot of that volume right up at the lash line, whilst still making sure that you can kind of entirely see that eye look. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Let's talk about some jewelry that I'm wearing. I actually picked up some new pieces. First of all, these earrings. Oh my God, these are just so beautiful. I love that they jiggle. Like, oh, I just love that. When you move your head around, they will move and kind of catch the light when you're out. So this is from a brand called Cleopatra's Blink and this is what they look like. How stunning is that? So this here is a garnet, but it is plated with 18 karat gold and I just love the design. I love everything about these earrings. I love that they're so tiny as well. They're not huge. They're actually quite dainty and incredibly beautiful. Now, another thing I'm wearing from the brand Cleopatra's Bling, which is an Australian brand, is this ring right here. I love this beautiful green ring. I mean, just look at that detail. This is handmade, just like the earrings, and it's got this beautiful green orb stunning color so check out their website i love their pieces they have a lot of those ancient rustic style pieces i ordered all of these online now the other things that i'm wearing is of course this ring right here this is another beautiful piece and look how small that is i love that like i have small fingers and i love that this is not huge it's quite dainty and it's got that beautiful carving it's handmade and this is 18 karat gold worm mill which is a little bit thicker of a gold coating than just plain gold plated. This is from a brand called Temple of the Sun. So this is an Australian brand as well. Now these necklaces that I'm wearing right here, um, they're both from Temple of the Sun. I really love both of them. So this right here is that garnet stone. And then the other piece that I'm wearing is a serpent. It's in a circular with a pink tourmaline stone in the middle. That is this right here. Beautiful, beautiful necklace. And what I love about these two is that I can wear them for every day. And they are also 18 karat gold vermil. So uh, that gold coating is a little bit thicker than just gold plated. Love it, you guys. It's been a long time since I bought jewelry. Most of my jewelry is super old and I really wanted something new and different to what I currently own. So these are the pieces that I selected from these two brands. Cleopatra's Bling and Temple of the Sun. So check them out. I've been stalking their page. I already have another package that's coming from both brands. Um, their rings. I really want more rings from them. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this really easy Egyptian goddess makeup tutorial. In New Zealand at the moment, we are in lockdown, so I don't really have anywhere to go, but I'm hoping that if you guys have a Halloween party or a dress up event, anything like that, I would absolutely love to know if you end up recreating this look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya.